report says carbon dioxide levels set a new record high in 2024, reaching levels not seen in at least 800,000 years. The World Meteorological Organization, or WMO, released its annual study on greenhouse gases today ahead of the UN's annual climate conference. The WMO report says greenhouse gases from burning coal, oil and gas and wildfires is turbocharging our climate and leading to more extreme weather. One senior scientific officer says, especially in context of previous years, this is concerning. If we put it in perspective, uh, within, within the last 10 years, the increase of CO2 was uh, 2.57. This year, it's 3.5. So it's about 30% higher than the previous observed. Last year was El Nino. This year was end of El Nino and the changes which we observe. The, U, the 30th UN Climate Conference, or COP30, is scheduled to take place in Brazil next month. And on our weather now, we want to give you a live look outside at the Oakland Estuary and still some cloudy skies there and beautiful shot, though. Nice day, although it's not as sunny as we'd like it to be, maybe. But you know what? Seasons are changing. Times are changing. And that's why we have KTV meteorologist Roberta Gonzalez here with a look at the rest of our week. One thing that has been consistent with our autumn season is change. Yes. And just wait a moment and the weather's going to change. And boy, we have a big weather whiplash for you coming up this weekend. And we all deserve it, considering what we've been through for the past couple of days here in the Bay Area. Take a look at some of these rainfall totals. 15 one hundredths of an inch of rain. Now that is this morning. That's right. You know, we had the copious amounts of precipitation Monday and Tuesday, but we had the backwash today on the backside of this system, just about a tenth of an inch and throughout the Santa Cruz Mountains. Right now, we have a series of alto cumulus clouds out there and strato cumulus clouds. Bottom line is we have mostly cloudy conditions. The clouds basically bank between about 2,400 feet and about 4,600 feet. 65 now in Santa Rosa. Do you remember yesterday at this hour, it was only about 54 degrees, 63 in Palo out to 62 in Walnut Creek. The winds have been light all day long. I haven't seen them surpass 10 miles per hour, which is a good thing. It is because the ground is saturated. We don't want to see any downed trees. Now, tonight's going to be one of the coldest autumn nights so far this season. Anywhere away from the bay, temperatures into the 40s, mid and high 40s. So you might want to think about getting out that extra blanket or comforter. So this is that powerful area of low pressure. It has now traversed in the easterly fashion, making way for high pressure to build in from the eastern Pacific. So the bottom line is tonight we have the clearing of the sky. It's going to be a beautiful starry night, but cold. And then tomorrow morning, waking up with a chill in the air. Lots of sunshine going to pan out to be a warmer day. Then a perfect autumn day as far as your seasonal high temperatures are concerned. Christina, 80 degrees. And when you should expect it, that's still coming up. Okay, looking forward to it. Thank you, Roberta.